Welcome back to my channel, it's Cozy Christopher. Today I'm super excited, I got it in the house. This is the Zoom UAC232 dedicated 32-bit float audio interface. This is the very first of its kind. This should be the new king of audio for all at-home content creation, um, uh, music creation, um, at a smaller level, right? Instead of buying a mixer or a field recorder that has 32-bit float in it, we now have a dedicated audio interface to simplify our setups. Okay, so on the outside of the box, it's a two-channel audio interface with 32-bit float audio interface. Um, there's two inputs, two outputs, 192 gigahertz, kilohertz sample rate, 24-bit depth, as well as a 32-bit float. I was expecting so much more from this box just because it's the first of its kind. Like I expected some pizzazz, some flair. This is so boring, um, but we're not here for the box. We're here for the product. And so jumping into the box, we are um, first the quick tour or the quick start guide, which is going to tell us how to use this and set and see what we got going on. Okay. There's a couple, there's a couple languages here inside the box. We got, two fasteners, as they said. Um, we have a USB-C to USB-A cable, some stay alive, <laughs> and then we have the actual interface itself. Super, yeah, super simple. I mean, there's a little dust on there from, I hate when they arrive from the manufacturer with dust on it, like pay money for something. You like, you want it to be clear of dust and you know, anything like that that's gonna take away from the experience. This particular, this particular model, you can, lay flat on the desk from a horizontal standpoint, or you can vertically hold, uh, sit it up this way as well. It's designed for both. There's some little wheels on it, allow you to move it around. Um, but from left to right here, you have your phantom, uh, volt, your phantom power for signal one or input one. You have a good tire base and high Z switch um, for if you have a good tire base hooked up to that first line there. These are combo jacks, so they accept either the quarter inch as well as the XLR. Then you have your phantom volt power there as well. You have your headphone volume here. You have a direct monitor to turn that on for direct monitoring of the outputs of the PC. Um, you have your output dial here to control the output volume. You have your input right here for the headphones and that's a quarter inch jack. On the back, you have your USB-C um, charging port there. You have your USB-C uh, and this can be ran directly by the PC as well. And so. Um, and then you have your MIDI out and MIDI in right there. And then you have your outputs right and left channel to your monitors. Another thing to point out is that this 32 bit float right here does actually light up when 32 bit float is selected and 32 bit float is active in your recordings. As far as setup, there is some drivers that you have to download. This is not a plug and play solution. And so you're gonna to go to the Zoom website, you're gonna to go to the downloads and software, and you're gonna download the driver there. We're gonna get this installed. Okay, so if you want to know why 32-bit float is so great, let's take a look here. And so I'm going to do a quick recording here and we're using Audacity just to do um, some quick audio so you can see it see the waveform there but the nice thing about 32-bit float is that it captures a lot of data a lot of data in the waveform and so let's go over back to the waveform we're going to select it here we're going to go to effect i'm going to set by my mouth a little bit we're going to go to effect volume and compression i'm going to go amplify and so we're going to be able to amplify this and let's say i want my new amplification to be negative three there and so as you see here, we've now moved that up and we're going to play the audio real quick to do a quick recording here. And we're using audacity just to do, um, some quick audio so you can see it, see the waveform. Okay. And so if you are not sure what's happening still, let's, let's change this effect again. And so we're going to go in here we're going to go back to amplify. We're going to move this up and I'm going to amplify it by five. And so let's play it again.
to do a quick recording here and we're using audacity just to do um, some quick audio so you can see it see the waveform there but the nice thing about 32-bit float is that and so it's starting to come in a picture for you there okay so now you can see it here to do a quick recording here and we're using audacity just to do um, some quick audio so you can see it see the waveform there so I, you see I, I peaked right there and so let's bring that let's bring that down there so now let's listen to that piece again a lot of data in the waveform and so you saw that I didn't peak there. And so that's what makes 32 bit float amazing is because I can take, I can clean up audio where I need to clean it up. Okay, so let's check out this software on the um, Zoom UAC 232 mix control software that comes along with the um, the audio interface and so first and foremost you have your two channels channel one channel two you have your gain sliders here you have your waveforms here and then you have of course the level so um, you know plus 20 negative uh, minus 20 etc um, within the streaming mix and then you have the pan which is like the stereo um, location right left or right channel or speaker left or right down here you have the ability to switch between the streaming format which basically brings the two audio channels together or you can go to the music format which will move it over to a single channel and that way you can have two different instruments playing on channel one channel two or mic on one instrument on two etc um, and then that's kind of pretty much that now, also on music, you can have USB in, USB in two, um, but more than likely for my purposes or content creation, you're gonna work it in a streaming version. Now, the Zoom UAC 232 control panel here is basically like the, 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 the actual audio interface setup and controls. And then that is, of course, the buffer size is the higher that number, the more stable the connection, right? But that's going to introduce more latency into your recordings. And then the sample rate is all the way up to 192, 44.1 to start. And then the format there, of course, is 32-bit float or 24-bit is basically what this audio interface offers, which is top of the line, right? That's what we're here for, right? Um, you also have the loopback uh, function there. And as you see, I have it going right now so you can hear the audio from the system. But if I turn that off, then there goes the audio, right? So that is, in a nutshell, this software that comes along with the UAC 232 audio interface. Okay, so that is going to be all for me. This is the Zoom UAC 232 first ever 32-bit float audio interface. And so far, it sounds good. The monitoring of the headphones sounds really good. There's no latency. I can't hear any latency from what I'm saying to what I'm hearing in my headphones. It's I, I don't. It's non-existent. Um, I don't know if that changes with different headphones and different you know microphones and things like that. That's to be determined. But this setup, Mayono PD200X, um, A Labs um, HW501 Studio headphones. This setup sounds amazing, and so. Um, I'm sold on this so far, my first impressions, right? And so I got to play around with this. I got to do some recording, do some videos, different things like that to see what happens over time. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm going to be comparing this to the Aturia uh, Mini Fuse 2 audio interface. I'm going to be doing an in-depth review on this. Um, and I'm going to be switching out my Sono setup on this main desk to some monitors. I'm going to try a few pair and things like that. And I'm going to be using this to power it um, or the Mini Fuse 2, depending on which one I like the most. And so ask any questions you may have in the comment section below. Um, as always, stay cozy in that crazy world. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.